7 unusual but incredibly effective tricks to clean the toilet that everyone should know. You'll be surprised how clean you get your toilet with these methods. In the future you'll never want to clean it any other way. For our first trick we need tea bags, because you can clean your toilet wonderfully with tea bags. Herbal tea is best for this because of its ingredients. There are two different variants you can use. The first is to put three tea bags directly into the toilet and let them soak overnight. This way the ingredients can dissolve and have a cleansing effect. Another idea would be to clean the toilet yourself with the tea bag. That way the next morning before you remove the tea bags you can grab one of them and wipe over heavily soiled areas. Because of the texture of the tea bag it's a great way to get those spots clean. If you don't want to waste new tea bags you can also use used tea bags. There are still enough ingredients in them to use them for the cleaning effect in the toilet. But then you should increase the dose a little and throw maybe 5 to 6 tea bags into the toilet. You should also leave these in the toilet overnight and take them out again the next day. All you have to do now is grab the toilet brush and give it a good scrub. You should then be able to see straight away that all the dirty spots here are now history. Once you've wiped through completely, all you have to do is flush again and you'll have cleaned your toilet with tea bags that you would otherwise have thrown in the bin if you had used them. For our second trick we need such a thing. This is a pumice stone for the toilet. Even if it sounds strange at first, you should rub it in your toilet. And you should do this in very specific places where you see such limescale stains. Because you usually can't get rid of them with normal cleaner. Also at the bottom of the toilet where the water stands, usually you find such an edge. You can scrub it with a toilet brush and use all kind of cleaners. Most of the time you won't get these places clean again. And that's exactly what you can use this pomice stone for. You should first dip it in water so that it is a little damp and then you can go into the toilet and rub it on those spots. It will scratch a little bit and it will sound very nasty at first. But this stone is made especially for the toilet. And as you can see in my case you only have to rub a few times over the calcified areas and all the limescale disappears. In the end you only have to flush again and then everything is limescale free again. And the same works down here at the rim where the water always stands. You can also remove this wonderfully with it. For our next trick we need a fork, because you can actually clean your toilet wonderfully with a fork. But for that you need a sponge like this and this is how the trick works. You should take a sponge and the fork. But since we don't need the whole sponge you can cut it a little bit first. I cut this sponge in the middle now. I also removed the green area because we don't need this for our cleaning process. After you have done that you can grab the fork and you have to put it into the side of the sponge. Be careful not to prick your fingers on the fork. When the fork is in place and the sponge has a firm grip you can go to the toilet with it. But before you do that you can bend the fork 90 degrees if you like. This makes cleaning even easier. And since you certainly won't want to use the fork for eating afterwards, it's also okay if you bend it over and then put it aside for a later cleaning process. I'm going to put a little bit of normal toilet cleaner on here and then go under the rim. Because these are places that you can't really get to that easily. And as you can see I can get really far in here with the sponge. I only have to wipe under it a few times and you can see that a lot of dirt comes out here. But it's about to get even worse. After I wiped well everywhere everything was really very dirty. But when I then flushed there were still real chunks coming out from underneath the rim which have come loose in here through this cleaning process. Put the fork and sponge in your cleaning cupboard now and take them out every time you want to clean the toilet under the rim. And did you know that you can even clean your toilet with garlic? I'll tell you why that works in a moment. First of all, I would like to show you how to do it. You shouldn't just throw the garlic cloves down the toilet. Grab three cloves of garlic, peel them and cut them into thinner slices. Next we take a pot, put half a liter of water in it and the garlic cloves we just cut. Bring it to the boil like this. As soon as it boils turn off the cooker, put the mixture aside and let it cool completely. Tip it through a sieve to filter out the garlic cloves. With the pure water go to your toilet and pour it in here. But why does this trick work at all? The allicin in the garlic cloves kills bacteria. So you can use this to get it completely germ free again. It's best to tip the liquid into your toilet in the evening and let it stay in there overnight. The next morning grab the toilet brush and give it another good wipe. Now flush again and the toilet is completely germ free again. 
The next cleaning trick produces a reaction that will definitely surprise you. For this you should take a larger bowl and we need 3 ingredients in total. Because we are making our own toilet cleaner here with an incredibly good effect. First you should put 100 grams of baking soda in this bowl. We need 75 grams of citric acid which we are going to add now. You can get baking soda as well as citric acid from my shop. You can find the link in the video description below. And the third ingredient is dish soap. Just add a small amount of dish soap at the end. We want to make it into a mass that we can knead. That means you might have to vary the washing up liquid a little bit as you will see later. Now stir everything together well. There will be a reaction at the beginning that will make the whole thing foam up. Wait a little while until the reaction subsides. Now you can take the mixture and form balls like this. Put them somewhere where you can keep them for example in a jar. Every time you want to clean the toilet you can take one of them. I'm going to show you how to use it. Grab one of these pre-made balls and throw it into the toilet. Because what you see is a reaction that's really incredible. You'll see it start to foam and it will clean your toilet really nicely. Especially lime scale and urine scale can be perfectly dissolved with these three ingredients. Wait until the foam slowly subsides. Then grab the toilet brush and give it another good wipe. Finally flush again and the toilet will be really clean again. Every time you want to clean it now just take one of these pre-made balls and throw it into the toilet. By the way, salt and cola is also an incredibly remedy for the toilet. Because you can use this home remedy perfectly. I'll show you exactly how it works in a moment. First of all it's important to mix it correctly. Take 350 ml of cola. Now tip it into a container. Add salt, about 2 tablespoons of it. Add this to the cola and stir it until it is well mixed. In the next step you need a container to store it. A cola bottle like this is perfect for this. Especially if it has a plastic lid. Pour all the liquid into this. In the next step grab the lid. Because what you should do now is poke a small hole in the lid. Take a pair of tweezers or any sharp object. Heat it briefly and then poke it through the middle of the lid. A small hole is already sufficient here. Now close the bottle again. Every time you want to use it you can shake it a little. But hold your finger on the hole of course and then put some of it in the toilet. Because salt and cola are incredibly good ways to get the toilet really nice and clean again. Leave it on like that for 30 minutes. Then grab the toilet brush, give it another good wipe, flush and the toilet is clean again. You can now put the bottle in your cleaning cupboard and take it out when needed to clean the toilet. And our last trick is a quick bonus trick. You need a panty liner, put a few drops of an essential oil of your choice on it, but don't stick them in the toilet. Stick them on the side of the toilet, somewhere outside where no one will see them. But this way you can make sure that your bathroom always smells nice and fresh. Do you still want to know why you should definitely hang a face mask in your fridge? Then watch the video I'm linking to you here.